Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Clarence. This is going to be a review of jailbreaking your iPhone. As y'all know, I did jailbreak my iPhone about a week or two ago. It might have been two weeks. I don't remember exactly how long ago it was. But I decided to do a review right before I decide to take my jailbreaking off. I'm going to give you guys pros and cons, since you know that's how I do my reviews. Give you a list of pros, give you a list of cons. Just let you guys know what's good and bad about it, obviously. So, I'm going to start with the pros like I always do. First good thing, and the reason why I downloaded and jailbroke my iPhone, was that you get video recording capabilities. And in just a second, I'm going to show you guys. Turn on the brightness real quick. Alright, so when you jailbreak your iPhone, you can download a little third-party app over there by my camera. Oh. Then I hit the wrong thing. It's called Psycorder. It'll come up here. And I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but it's a little video recording application, and you guys can see me and a video of me, you know. And as you guys know, if you're subscribed to my videos, I have a couple videos that I used Psycorder with and I used it on the go, which comes in handy. I wanted to make my iPhone 3G more like a 3GS. And it works great. I like it. If you're in a very lit up area, um, it has a great, has great quality. As you can tell whenever I did the one when I was in Tulsa inside the vehicle, you know, with about my camera, it's good quality. You guys even said it was. But if you're in the dark, if you're in my room, like you can tell from the other couple videos I have of it, not the best quality in the world. You can see it's kind of grainy. I, I don't like it very much. The second best thing, good thing I'd say about it, not best, I think video recording was the best, that's why I jailbroke it, is that it's pretty much fully cu customizable. I have this little thing up there, and if you look at the very top, it shows my date and my time, and it shows battery percentage. Well, if you take and you swipe that, not that, swipe that, A little thing comes up. It's called SB settings. And you can actually turn on and off 3G, Bluetooth, do your brightness, Wi-Fi, all that from right there. And you can actually turn toggles on and off, which will give you your battery percentage or your date or anything else that you pretty much like. Just simple little things. Also, if you start to download any themes, you get this little thing over here called Winterboard. And you can actually change, as you can see, I have my 3GS battery thing on there. You can change your themes. And I was going to make a video on my favorite themes, but since I'm going to take my jailbreaking off, and I'll get to that in a minute, I decided not to. But you can change your themes, make it look different. You don't have to have it look like the regular, everyday iPhone layout. And that's really kind of fun. You know, it's something simple to do. Another thing, which is why everybody does it, and why pretty much jailbreaking came out was third-party apps and I don't really have that many except for Psycorder and you know Winterboard and stuff like that is you have third-party apps when you jailbreak your phone you get this little thing which is down there called Cydia it's kinda like the App Store except full of your third-party apps and all those things like that and you can install and uninstall stuff through there also another one would be Icy you can see next to Winterboard, and they're just like little bitty app stores. And that's why most people do third party apps, you know, that's why they jailbreak it so they can get the third party apps. And I've said third party apps a million times, but that's third pro, not the best, I don't know. And the next thing, it's just fun to jailbreak your phone and to play around with it, it's fun. I enjoyed it while it lasted, but. It's getting ready to be the end, so can't wait, honestly. It's going to happen as soon as I'm done with this video. Now, the cons of jailbreaking that I've found, don't know if you guys have the problems. If you have, let me know. I don't know. I might go back to jailbreaking again and see if they're fixed. But it slows down my phone terribly. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. When I click on something, let's say I click on messages, it comes up normal. But as soon as I want to get out of it, oh, and then it, then it freaking, 
That was stupid. It's making a liar out of me. Some, a lot of times, actually, except for right now, it takes a long time for an application to come up. And then when I press the home button, I'll end up pressing it like three times before the application disappears. And I know I did not have that problem before I jailbroke it. I realized after about a few days of jailbreaking that my phone's getting slower to get in and out of applications, and it's annoying. And if you've got a smartphone, one thing is you're trying to get in and out of things. You're not, that's what you like is the multitasking, application to application, going through stuff as quickly as possible, especially when you're on the go, really need to text something really fast. You like that to work. Well, jailbreaking my phone has slowed it down a lot, and I'm not enjoying that whatsoever. The next thing, which actually goes along with that, very laggy. When I'm texting or whatever, I can text the whole sentence before any of the buttons actually show that they've been pressed or make a clicking noise or magnify or anything. It won't even show it until I'm done making my sentence. And that's not, that's not any fun at all. I can press on something and it'll take forever for it to even notice I pressed it. And I shouldn't have these problems with my iPhone. Not everyone has these problems. I shouldn't have them. I've never had them before. So it has to be my jailbreaking. Next thing is I, I have applications freeze on me now that shouldn't be freezing on me. I would understand if the third party apps are freezing on me, but not my everyday apps. They shouldn't be freezing on me at all. And last but not least, my last con is that you cannot update your phone through iTunes without losing your jailbroken stuff, without losing your jailbreak, which doesn't bother me because now 3.0.1 is out. I guess it fixes a little bit of SMS. So, I'm going to get rid of my jailbreak, I'm going to restore my phone, hopefully my apps come back when I plug it back into iTunes, and I'm going to be fine. I'm um, just update it, forget jailbreaking. If you guys tell me otherwise, tell me that maybe it was just how I jailbroke it, I'll do it again, maybe. You know, I'll try it one more time. But, that's about it. So, other than that, I, I don't know. I've been thinking about getting rid of my iPhone and getting a BlackBerry. I kind of wish I had some buttons. I'm kind of tired of touch screens. But thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to my videos. Check out my previous video on my giveaway. Get in on that. And get yourself a nice little webcam for your computer. If you have an iBook, PowerBook, old iMac G5 or some sort of iMac, need a webcam, got one. And you can win it. So check that out. So thanks for watching. Peace. That was weird. What was it? Peace, love, and goodbye jailbreak. You guys have a great night. Thank you for watching.